When people first hear about the Big Bang Theory, they say, well, where did it take place? It took place over there, it took place over there. Where did it take place? Actually, it took place everywhere. A recent theoretical paper from physicists in the Netherlands delivers a quietly unsettling message. The universe may not endure as long as we once believed. Their work suggests that even the most resilient objects we know, neutron stars, white dwarfs, and black holes, are slowly fading leaking mass through subtle quantum effects. Every star you see in the sky, including our sun, is burning through its nuclear fuel. Nothing, it seems, is truly immune to time. The shift is delicate but profound, forcing us to rethink how the cosmos ultimately ends. In this video, we'll walk through what the researchers uncovered, why it matters, and how it redraws the timeline of cosmic extinction. The research comes from a team at Radboud University and turns its attention to the long afterlife of stars, those dense remnants left behind once nuclear fuel is gone. For decades, physicists assumed that only black holes gradually shrink, thanks to Hawking radiation. Everything else was thought to simply persist, unchanged, for unimaginably long stretches of time. Neutron stars and white dwarfs, while incredibly compact, never collapse far enough to form an event horizon. Because of that, they were treated as final, stable monuments of stellar evolution. The researchers decided to question this comfortingly simple picture. Instead of focusing on horizons, they asked a deeper question. What does extreme curvature of space-time itself do to the quantum vacuum? To answer that, they stripped the problem down to its essentials. Their model uses a perfectly spherical star with uniform density, floating in empty space. By removing distractions like spin, magnetic fields, or surface complexity, they could isolate the pure effect of space-time curvature on quantum fields. Quantum theory tells us that even empty space is restless. Particle-antiparticle pairs constantly flicker into existence, collide, and vanish before anyone can notice. But when space-time is sharply curved, that delicate balance can be disturbed. The pairs can be pulled apart before they annihilate, allowing both particles to escape as real, measurable entities, carrying energy with them. This phenomenon is usually discussed in the context of black holes, where the event horizon plays a starring role. What startled the researchers was discovering that no such boundary is required. Strong curvature alone can trigger the effect. Gravity itself becomes enough. With that realization, the team calculated how often particles could be produced around neutron stars and white dwarfs. The answer? Rarely, but not never. The intense gravity surrounding these objects supplies just enough energy for a trickle of particles to break free and drift into space. Each escaping particle steals an almost infinitesimal amount of mass from its source. The denser the object, the stronger the effect. Neutron stars shed mass slightly faster, while white dwarfs lose it at a more glacial pace. The process is so faint that no telescope could ever detect it, but the universe has patience. Given enough time, even the smallest losses add up. When the researchers projected these rates forward across cosmic durations, a surprising picture emerged. Neutron stars and stellar mass black holes end up evaporating on comparable timescales. White dwarfs survive longer, but they too eventually disappear. The longest possible lifespan for any compact stellar remnant comes out to around 10 to the 78th years. That number is staggering, yet it is vastly shorter than earlier predictions that place the universe's final fade-out at timescales almost beyond comprehension. What this means is quietly dramatic. The last chapter of the universe may arrive sooner than expected, ushered in not by explosions or collapse, but by the steady whisper of quantum physics working in curved space-time. At its core, this study reshapes how we see the boundary between gravity and quantum mechanics. Hawking's original insight tied evaporation to black holes and their horizons. This new work loosens that connection. The true driver isn't the horizon, it's the curvature itself. Where space-time bends sharply enough, quantum processes can slowly erode even the toughest cosmic structures. The universe, it turns out, doesn't need dramatic endings. Sometimes, it simply lets go. This finding deepens the uneasy but fascinating connection between general relativity and quantum field theory. For most of physics, these two pillars live separate lives. 
Relativity governs the grand architecture of the cosmos, while quantum mechanics rules the tiny and fleeting. They rarely overlap in ways we can test or observe. Stellar remnants, however, occupy a rare middle ground. They are massive enough to warp space-time dramatically, yet compact enough for quantum effects to stir. Showing that evaporation occurs in these objects reinforces a powerful idea. When space-time bends intensely, quantum behavior refuses to stay silent. It must be taken seriously. One of the study's most striking shifts in perspective is its focus on density rather than labels. For generations, astrophysicists sorted compact objects by category, black holes defined by horizons, neutron stars held up by nuclear forces, white dwarfs stabilized by electron pressure. This new framework dissolves those boundaries. Instead of discrete classes, these objects form a smooth spectrum, linked by how tightly matter is packed and how sharply space-time curves as a result. That change ripples through how we imagine the far future. If every dense remnant slowly erodes, the universe never truly settles. There is no eternal graveyard of cold stars and lingering black holes. Even after fusion ends, galaxies disperse and conventional astrophysics goes quiet. The cosmos keeps changing, subtly, patiently, relentlessly. Importantly, this vision does not rely on speculative ideas like unstable protons or unknown particles. The decay emerges naturally from established physics, offering a conservative but profound baseline for universal aging. In doing so, the work opens new doors in the quest for quantum gravity. It provides a realistic setting where quantum fields and curved space-time meet not as abstractions, but as active partners shaping cosmic destiny. The study also points forward. It hints at richer, more complex realities waiting to be explored. Real neutron stars spin at incredible speeds, hide layered interiors, and generate magnetic fields so strong they strain imagination. White dwarfs come in many compositions and structures. Adding these ingredients will complicate the math, but it may also refine the story and reveal new subtleties in how matter fades. Despite its theoretical nature, the work sharpens our picture of the universe's distant tomorrow. It carries a humbling message Stability is often an illusion. Given enough time, even the most solid-seeming objects yield to quiet quantum erosion, reshaping the cosmic landscape grain by grain. This revision significantly alters the expected timeline of the universe. Older models imagined an almost endless era filled with cooling white dwarfs and black holes lingering far beyond comprehension. That vision now looks overly optimistic. As all compact remnants lose mass, the transition to a structureless universe arrives much sooner. As neutron stars, white dwarfs, and black holes disappear, complexity drains away. What remains is not darkness filled with frozen relics, but a thin mist of low-energy radiation spreading through an ever-expanding void. The universe still moves in the same direction, it simply gets there faster. Another powerful insight lies in unity. Rather than treating each remnant as a special case with its own destiny, the study shows they all share the same fate. Once mass loss becomes significant, evaporation accelerates and the object vanishes entirely. On cosmic scales, permanence is nowhere to be found. The implications stretch beyond astronomy. This work underscores that quantum effects matter even in the quietest epochs imaginable. Long after stars burn out and galaxies dissolve, quantum physics continues its slow work. It is not just a mathematical curiosity, but a tool capable of forecasting how reality itself thins away. Looking ahead, researchers may extend these ideas in several directions. They may test how realistic stellar features modify evaporation. They may ask whether dark matter, if it clumps densely enough, also erodes under similar rules. They may even look backward in time, wondering whether these same processes whispered through the early universe when curvature was extreme and everything was new. That possibility is speculative, but poetic. The same mechanism that shapes the universe's ending may have left faint fingerprints on its beginning. In the end, the study recasts the cosmos not as something that ends with a dramatic finale, but as something that quietly dissolves. 
Even the densest remnants fade. Long after everything else has gone dark, quantum physics remains at work, gently writing the universe's final lines, earlier and more simply than we once imagined.